In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and it came to pass that the earth was formless and void, and the Creator moved upon the face of the waters. Suddenly, God spoke into the darkness, Let there be light. Hello, kids. My name is Benita. Today, I would like to tell you a story about a man who became a king of the new creation. Then his name is Pastor Apollo Siki Blois. Even at the young age, Pastor Apollo learned obedience to the things he suffered. His love for souls is genuinely great. This story tells about the second calling of our beloved pastor. Now, listen attentively. In his early years and the denomination, pastor was famous, respected, and treated like a prince. He was an active and excellent leader among the young people. He was a great evangelist who traveled around the Philippines preaching as much as seven times a day. Wow, seven times a day? In 1973, Pastor Apollo was sent to Seoul, South Korea to attend a world conference. He was spiritual and excited. When he arrived at the venue, he saw white people. They were from the USA and Canada. He was the only Filipino among the attendants. He looked different from the others. He was the only representative from the Philippines and Asia. Immediately, he became the focus of their attention. Well, I'm proud to be a Filipino. During the last night of the conference, a service was held. Everyone felt the strong presence of God. There were tears in Pastor's eyes. He cried like a baby. While in deep prayer, something unexpected happened. He heard a voice in Cebuano. Go meet him, Taka. Hmm, who is playing a trick on me? It is only me who can speak Cebuano here. Pastor Polo wondered, but it felt that his heart was squeezed. His tears were flowing like a river for the first time. The conference ended, but Pastor Polo could not forget what he heard in Korea. He found it not ordinary, but it felt that his heart was squeezed like a lemon. One week after, Pastor Polo had to preach in Palawan. At 4 a.m. while waiting in the departure area of the Manila Domestic Airport, he heard the same voice. God called out once again, speaking those familiar words. Go mitungtaka three times. He kept on thinking. Why are you going to use me, Lord? You're already using me. I already go from one place to another, preaching before a large crowd. He was not sure if it was really real. He became more famous in the denomination. The church leader planned to send him to America to study. Later on, there was a plan to marry his beautiful American girlfriend. But, Pastor Paul had a problem. A missionary in the Philippines got jealous of him. He took bad about Pastor Polo. Things became bad. Pastor Paul did not want to leave. But the more he wanted to stay, the more that many problems arose. He did not know that it was God's plan. God has already started to separate him from his religion to circumstances. The Almighty Father pulled him away from the religious organization. It was all God's great plans. 